So in this video, I want to introduce you to adding and subtracting algebraic terms. So let's start off with x plus x. So something nice and basic just to go, kind of get the ball rolling. Before I look at that, let's look at it as if x was a number. So let's say we had 5 plus 5. Well, we know that that is a 10. Okay, we know that that's 10. Now, another way that we could write our answer is by saying, well, 10 is the same thing as 2 times 5. Okay, right, perfect. So let's look at 5 plus 5 plus 5. Well, of course, that's 15. And 15 can be written as 3 times 5, because we've got three fives being added together. So can we then think, OK, well, if I've got x plus x then, then here I've got two x's being added together. So I could write that as precisely 2x, couldn't I? So x plus x is the same as 2x. So x plus x plus x, well here I've got 3x's. Okay? In fact I could trade this up to saying, well if I've got 2x plus 3x plus another x, then I've got 2x's and another 3x's, so 5x's, plus another x, so 6x, so this is the same as 6x. So I can collect like terms together. Now what I mean by like terms is that the algebraic bit to the right of the number is the same in each case. Now you'll notice that this x by itself, we don't bother writing down 1x, do we? Okay, when I say I've just got x, it is the same as 1 times x. And I don't bother writing down 1x. Okay, this is identical to just saying 1x. So we never bother writing the 1 down. So this is just one singular x here, of course. Okay, so now we've got this idea that we could add some x's together. So let's look at this. Let's say I've got another example. I've got 5a and I'm adding on 7a. Now I've changed letter. Shouldn't make a difference here, right? I've got 5a's, I've got another 7a's, so in total I'll have 12a's. So this is identical to 12a. Fine. I could have, um, let's say I've got 8 Bs, and then I subtract 3 Bs. Okay, so I've got 8B, take away 3B, and so that'd be 5B. Okay, so you're kind of starting to think of it as maybe 5 apples plus 7 apples is 12 apples, or 8 bananas, and then I take 3 bananas away, and I've got 5 bananas left. You can start to kind of like think of those letters to mean things like that. But you've got to be a little bit wary, um, because that context that you can apply to it doesn't always makes sense. In, some, in these, some, some of these basic uh, ideas they do, um, but when we get on to multiplying uh, A and B together, for example, uh, multiplying apples and bananas together doesn't really make much sense. Now, what about if I had this? Okay, now, if we continue with our apples and bananas idea, okay, then I've got five apples and another seven apples makes 12 apples. And I've got eight bananas and I take away three bananas. 
So I've got five bananas. So this is the same as this. Now, if you're going along the lines of the apples bananas idea, that is a good way of thinking about it in this context. Or you could think of it like um, maybe A represents uh, British pounds and B represents US dollars. OK, when I get to the end, OK, how much have I got? Well, I've got 12 pounds and five US dollars. I can't combine those two things together. I can't collect these two things and form them together somehow um, into one. It doesn't make sense. So these are two different objects, if you like, two different terms. This one has A, this one has B. So because they are different, I cannot combine them into one term. OK, and this is the finished form of how I must write it. So we've gone through a few ideas here in this video of being able to um, add uh, a number of terms together of one variable. Uh, I've introduced a second variable, so B, and looked at how they interact with one another and how they must, their end result here must be kept separate.